check in the text below and also in the comments. I'll provide a link on how you can purchase this product or one similar. It helps me out a little bit if you use that link when you do your shopping. Thanks a bunch. I am not a skilled installer or skilled with a screwdriver or any kind of tools for that matter. I'm a complete novice, but if I can install this, I'm fairly confident that you can too. If you have any tips for me, please leave them in the comments. Just looking for new ways to torture yourself. Apparently I am. I'm just too weak and embarrassed to do pull-ups at the gym because it's not going to be pretty. It's going to be like really sad. But I wanted to get one at home, but I didn't know what kind to get because I don't want to tear my uh, door facings up or anything like that. So I visited my son out in Austin and he had one. I took a picture of it and I came back and bought the exact one. So let's see if if I can install this and <laughs> if I can ever do a pull up or chin up on it, whatever you call them. I know they're supposed to do one thing if you do your hands one way, one if you do your hands the other way. But let's see what's inside this box. This is called the perfect pull up. It's supposed to be easy to install. We shall see. Has an adjustable arm to perform rows or pull ups. One size fits most door frames. I guess I should have measured the door frames, but they're not weird or anything. And it says anyone can do a pull up. We'll see. It shows you the target areas are going to be the arms, chest, core, and back. Doesn't do anything for your legs. And they have free workout videos on YouTube, which I'm a YouTube fan. All right, here's you some information. Traditional pull-ups can be intimidating. That's why we created the perfect pull-up. Unique adjustable swing arm. Now, almost anyone can do a pull-up and benefit from the great upper body and core exercise. Perfect pull-up adjusts your fitness level, standing row beginner, Australian pull-up intermediate, and regular pull-up advanced. You will surprise yourself by how quickly you progress. All right. God, I'm terrible at opening packages. Terrible. Oh, he's trying to trick me. Oh, that necessary. Okay. Heavy. It has what I'm assuming are brackets. They're metal. It tells you right and left. It's very well packaged. Don't know what these are yet, but I will read the instructions to find out. Hardware. There's some big screws. Lord, I'm going to have to get my son to help me do this. My other son, the one that lives here. So pretty. One bar. Ha, ha, ha. So this is where you can go to find out some information about it. I just bought mine on Amazon. And here we have the point of contact. It's going to be the bar, I guess. It's adjustable to fit ever how wide your door is, I guess. And everybody's favorite the user guide. I hope it has instructions on how to put it together in here. Warnings, 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 warnings. Warranty. Oh, 
Aha, installation template. So it tells you exactly how to mark your door. Handy, handy, handy. Handy, handy, handy. Nice. I like it when they do things like that. Why not? So this is what it's supposed to look like up, I believe. Customer service. More warnings. More warnings. Gives you a spec list. Make sure you have all your parts. We'll lay it out. Make sure we have everything. Start putting this thing together. Instructions, instructions. Before installing, I'm going to make sure I have all my parts. I have the bar there. I laid mine out exactly as they are on here. I have the wrench with Phillips screwdriver here. The 5 millimeter Allen wrench here, the black one. 3 millimeter Allen wrench here, the silver one. I have the left arm swing and the right arm swing. I'll show you something about those in a moment. They are here and here. I have the paper template here. I have eight Phillips screws here on a piece of white paper to improve visibility for the video. Two bolts also on the white paper for visibility. The left J hook here. The right J hook here, the two side brackets here. So on the J hooks, you can tell the difference because the back side of the left one is going to have to face the left side. So this is the flat part that makes this one the left hook. The right J hook has the flat piece that goes on the door on the back. So that makes, that makes this one the right J hook. And conveniently they tell you that on the swing arms they look identical on this ID however once you turn the page it tells you that the left swing arm has the text perfect pull up on the inside of it this one And the right swing arm has this text on the inside of it, making it this one. Hey, you know what else works? What you did right here. But I'm going to take a Sharpie just to make sure I don't get it messed up. And put a big O L and a big R. Could have printed that on there instead of all this, but whatever. Twenty nine and three fourths. Mine's gonna work because it's within the parameters. I'm gonna clean my door frame before I put these up as well. Step two says to place the installation template at the top left of the door side opposite the door and mark the holes at four locations. Repeat for the right side of the door and then to drill some holes and the uh, locations marked. So you're going to put this template up on the door frame and make sure you're putting it at the right place. Close your door because we're going to be installing it on the wood piece right here and on the wood piece right there. Like our left J hook is going to go up here and then one of the brackets will go down here because this is going to be able to be operative up here with the door closed. We do not want to make a mistake I'm trying to put it in here because obviously you're not going to be able to close your door on that. So you're going to be putting it out here. I have a couple pieces of tape. Hoping that was secured a little bit. Need another piece of tape, I believe. And I don't have a drill, so I'm just going to use this to start the hole for the screws. that down. Repeat for the other side. That feels 
Naughty? Not naughty, naughty. Soon find out if that's enough. While it was very nice of them to provide us the screwdriver tool, I'm going to use something that's handier for me because they did not give me fine motor skills and I have absolutely no strength in my fingers. This thing is awesome. I have a video up about this. I'll include it in the text below. It's great for me. Now for step three, we're going to install the left J hook. And one of the side brackets using four using four of the screws they included. We want to do that on the other side. If you're handy with tools and you have good fine motor skills, you're probably going to find putting this up a lot easier than I did. The instructions are actually very, very clear. This is a very well designed and engineered product. I didn't have any uh, things that went awry other than my own lack of fine motor skills and inability to handle a screwdriver. I know that I can't screw those in straight. Screwdriver, screwdrivers are not friends. That's why I have this. I think the camera's just where I need to be. Yes, I know I'm stripping the screws, terrible screwdrivers. So now those are up and I need to repeat that on this side over here. But first a snack and some water because there's nothing wrong with taking a break. And I dropped a screw on the floor on gray carpet. That's fun, but I have a magnet and a hammer. Oh, and I found it. I think I'll just put these here on the magnets so I know where they are.
screws and iron off, friends. Oh, well, that's pretty. I'll have to put some tape on that. Really, really hard. screwdrivers even this tool makes it easier though so i have all four of them up oh good lord please let them work let them be even now i'm gonna fix the crossbar and the swing arms with the bolt and the wrench it doesn't tell us which wrench i guess we'll find out very soon which one works correct so left because the left one has the perfect pull-up text. So, it's embedded down in there. So I'm guessing it goes down like this. I need another hand. Let's see if it's the big one. It is. And that would leave this side the perfect pull up on line. Maybe the right swing arm to attach here. Using the other bolt. not want to go in as easily. For whatever reason. Trouble, trouble. Tight. Come on. And that's tight. 
So now we have that part assembled. Step five, install the left and right swing arms on the left and right side brackets by lining up the large hole in the swing arm of the head of the side bracket. Rotate the bars up and latch into the J-hooks. Big. Uh, don't seem to fit. I think these are too big. Okay, there we go. So these do not exactly fit inside that like that. I got it on there accident by tilting it like that. So it doesn't fit just flush on there to go in there. You have to tilt it back a little bit. All right, so now it's up. Now we're going to rotate the bar up and latch into the J-hooks, making sure that the swing arms are centered in the J-hooks and the swing arms are connected to the side bracket as shown here. Let's try that. That's easy enough. Now we're going to take the Allen wrench and tighten up the top over here to connect the left and right assemblies. And then we're going to try to take the bar back and forth to make sure we have a smooth operation. And that should be it, folks. So it's talking about this and this right here using the small Allen wrench and tightening that up. Which I barely have enough clearance up here at the top to do. All right, that one's tight. This one already feels pretty tight. as I can get that. Yay, it works! I can swing on it. I can't do a pull up. That'll come later. It's up! It can support me. The main thing I got it for is just to hang like this to try to stretch out my spine. And I will be working on trying to do a pull up. But my main thing is hanging. Me, this is me, beginner. Neutral grip, negative pull up. Me, a beginner. You may aspire to an intermediate with a neutral or reverse grip pull up. You may have aspirations to be an expert. Have a wide overhand grip pull up. Me, this is probably me right here, right here. Let's see if the door will close nicely. Yes, yes it does. Just hanging out. Stretching my back. Ah, improving my grip on my hands as I get age. As I age, as I get age. Oh, I can feel my back popping. This feels wonderful. Thanks for watching my video about the pull-up bar. It's free to leave a comment. You can be hilarious. That's fine. It's not going to hurt my feelings. It's free to give the video a thumbs up. It's free to share this video if possible. Remember to look in the comments below and I'll provide a link on how you can buy this for yourself or someone else that you want to see struggling because it could be fun, right? 
And if you have time before you go, watch another video. And until then, let's just help each other get stronger, even if we look stupid, right? Bye.